artists who live in dry climates and well-heated homes often struggle with the quick drying quality of gouache, because in such conditions gouache colors can dry too fast on the mixing tray and on the brush, making it difficult to mix and apply colors. Fortunately, there is a solution to this problem. It's a medium that preserves the moisture in gouache paints and prevents them from drying too fast. I've tested it thoroughly and have gotten excellent results with it. It's a product called Windsor & Newton Watercolor Blending Medium. In this video, I will show you how to use this medium to extend the drying time of your beautiful gouache paints. I leave the links to all the products used in this video in the description. Here is how you can use the blending medium. If your colors dry too fast in your storage palette, you can add the medium directly to each one of the colors in your palette. The drier the ambient air is, the more medium you will need to add to your paints. I've noticed that adding one part medium to approximately four or five parts gouache has had the best effect on the drying time of my gouache paints. To add the medium to the paints in your storage palette, you can either use a single dropper or you can pour the medium into a dropper bottle. You don't need to be very precise about the proportion of the medium to the paint. I usually add about 10 to 15 drops of the medium into every well of my palette box. Then I stir the paints well using a clean toothpick for each color. Note that most of the wells of my palette box are about two-thirds full of paint. If you have only a little bit of paint in each of the wells of your palette box, you will need to add only two or three drops of the medium to each of your colors. You can also add this medium to your white paint. This will help a lot in keeping your color mixes moist longer. To add the medium to my whites, I use these dropper bottles. They are great, because they allow you to squeeze liquids out in small amounts, and they also prevent the liquid inside them from evaporating. It's very easy to twist them open and close them. You can easily get them on Amazon. I usually add one part medium to four parts white paint. I already have permanent white mixed with the medium in this large bottle. Now I'll add the medium to zinc white. I take a tube of zinc white and squeeze all the paint into the bottle. The tube contains 37 ml of paint. At least 1 ml of paint must have stayed in the tube, so we have about 36 ml of paint in this bottle. Now I'll add the medium in the proportion 1 part medium to 4 parts paint, using a syringe. Since I have 36 ml of paint, I need to add 9 ml of the medium. Now I need to stir this mixture very well. I am using the handle of a small brush. Once the consistency of the paint becomes even, the paint is ready for use. When I start to paint, I shake the bottle well and squeeze some of the paint onto my mixing tray. Now I'll conduct a little experiment. I'll squeeze some zinc white from the tube and paint a small patch with it. Then I'll squeeze a bit of the zinc white to which I have just added the medium and paint another patch with it. Now I'll use the hair dryer to accelerate the drying time of the paints. After two minutes of applying the hot air to the samples, both of the thin layers have dried. The paint squeezed from the tube has formed a thick dry film that would make it difficult to use this paint, while the paint with the medium added to it is still in a perfect workable condition. You will notice that gouache paint mixed with the medium is much more fluid than the paint that comes out of the tube. But don't worry, it won't affect your color mixing, it only means that you will need to add much less water to your colors when painting. Storing these bottles upside down makes it easier to squeeze the paint onto the mixing tray. Keep in mind that this medium evaporates from the paints much slower than water, so it may take longer for your painting to dry. 
but eventually the medium will evaporate from the painting completely, without affecting the properties of gouache. It doesn't create any kind of film in the painting, so you will be able to reactivate your colors with water after they have dried, if you need to. The medium acts just like water, with the only difference being that it evaporates at a much slower rate. If your gouache paints dry at a comfortable speed, you don't need to use this medium. But if you paint in a very dry and warm area, it will make a huge difference for you. My friend Jean Sumption, who told me about this medium, has successfully used her gouache paints with the medium added to them to paint on location in the Arizona desert. So, in extremely dry climates, this medium can be a great solution for keeping your gouache paints moist and manageable. I hope this information helps you enjoy your gouache paints more and gives you more freedom to paint in different environments.